so friends let me move on to set number 5 that is question number 19 so friends x is equal to 1 plus root 2 plus root 3 so by keeping this x term we need to find what is the value of that expression right so the expressions are in terms of x power 4 right but they have given only x is equal to 1 plus root 2 plus root 3 so friends listen here friends i am just going to simplify this expression listen carefully so this can be written as x minus 1 is equals to root 2 plus root 3 i am just bringing this plus 1 towards left hand side so x minus 1 is equal to root 2 plus root 3 right uh, i think uh, this we can uh, take square on both sides friends. so when we take square on both sides listen carefully this looks like a format called a minus b the whole square a plus b the whole square right so first of all a minus b the whole square so a square so next is b square so minus 2ab so minus 2 into a into b so minus 2x is equals to so friends similarly the right hand side part look like a plus b the whole square so a square root of 2 the whole square will be 2 next is b square root of 3 the whole square will be 3 so plus 2ab so 2 into root 2 into root 3 i think root 2 into root 3 can be written as a root of 6 right and uh, next is so friends listen here friends here it is plus 1 and uh, 3 plus 2 will be 5 right i think uh, let me uh, write this expression as x square and here it is minus 2x so plus 1 and here it is plus 5 so when we bring this plus 5 towards left hand side so 1 minus 5 the lesser term will be minus 4 so this is equals to 2 root of x right so finally we brought an expression that is x square minus 2x minus 4 is equals to 2 root x so friends listen carefully friends we have simplified this expression so finally we have converted the expression in terms of x square but here we need to find in terms of x power 4 right we need to square this expression right so friends this expression can be written as x square minus 2x minus 4 the whole square is equals to similarly square this friends 2 root 6 the whole square right again taking square on both sides so friends this looks like a plus b plus c so a plus b plus c the whole square will be a square plus b square plus c square plus 2 a b plus 2 b c plus 2 c a right so friends you should know all the formulas remember that without knowing formula you can't crack a question in algebra so friends first of all a square friends so a square will be x square the whole square next is b square so b square will be 2x the whole square so next is c square will be 4 square so next is uh, 2 a b right so 2 into a into b so friends listen carefully friends 2 into x square into 2 into x right so friends i'm just going to write this expression as 2 a that is x square next is b that is minus 2x next is plus 2 b c right so plus 2 into b into c that is minus 2 x into minus 4 so next is 2 c a 2 into minus 4 into x square so 2 into minus 4 into x square is equals to so friends 2 square will be 4 root of 6 square will be 6 6 into 4 will be 24 so friends listen carefully a square b square c square 2 a b 2 b c 2 c a is equals to 2 square will be 4 root of 6 square will be 6 6 into 4 will be 24 so we need to simplify this expression friends so this can be written as x square power 2 will be x power 4 right 2 this can be written as 4 x square and similarly 4 square will be 16 so next is i think uh, 2 into 2 will be minus 4 x square into x will be x cube so finally this can be written as minus 4 x cube and the next is minus into minus will be plus so 4 into 2 will be 8 8 into 2 will be 16 so 16 x so next is minus 8x square so minus 8x square is equals to 24 so friends next is next step is so here it is x power 4 right so x power 4 here it is 4x square here it is minus x square so minus 4x square right so here it is 4x cube i think this can be done as minus 4x cube so friends here it is plus 16x right so plus 16x so here it is plus 16 so when we bring this minus 24 towards left hand side so plus 24 towards left hand side will minus 24 so 16 minus 24 will be minus 8 is equal to 0 so friends listen carefully friends here we got x power 4 right 
but we need to find the expression in terms of 2x power 4 but here it is x power 4 right so let me do one thing friends listen here friends here it is 4x cube but our target to find 8x cube so let me do one thing friends let me multiply this complete expression by 2 so when we multiply the 2 so 2x power 4 so when we multiply this minus 8x cube so when we multiply this minus 4 into 2 will be 8x square so plus 16x into 2 will be plus 32x so minus 16 is equals to 0 so friends finally here it is 2x power 4 right similarly here it is 2x power 4 so we don't want to change anything so here it is minus x 8x cube and similarly here it is minus 8x cube so friends listen here friends here it is 5x square right but here it is 8x square similarly here it is 26x but here it is 32x and the last term is minus 28 but here it is minus 16 so friends i think uh, let me do one thing friends only way is so friends listen carefully i'm just going to write this expression as here it is 2x square right so 2x square and similarly here it is minus 8x cube minus 8x cube so friends listen here friends here it is minus 8x square but here it is minus 5x square we can write this minus 8x square as minus 5x square so minus 3x square so when we add both the terms the resultant will be minus 8x square right next is here it is 32x but here it is 26x right so this 32x can be written as 26x plus 6x because 26x plus 6x the resultant answer will be 32x right and here it is minus 16 but there it is minus 28 so this can be written as so minus 28 plus 12 friends so minus 28 so plus 12 is equals to so here it is 0 right so 0 so friends listen carefully friends i am just changing the expression according to our question right so here it is 2x power 4 right so here it is 2x power 4 4 so minus 8x square and here it is 5x square so friends let me do one thing friends listen here friends here it is 2x power 4 next is here it is 8x cube and here it is 5x square right and uh, here it is 26x so plus 26x and here it is minus 28 so bring the remaining terms towards right hand side the remaining terms of minus 3x square can be done as plus 3x square and here it is 26x we have written here 26x and here it is 6x when we bring the 6x towards right hand side it will be minus 6x similarly here it is minus 28 so when we bring this plus towards right hand side it will be minus 12 right so friends when we take 3 common so this can be done as x square minus 2x minus 4 so friends listen carefully we know what is the value of x square minus 2x minus 4 will be 2 root x so this can be written as 3 into 2 root x so 3 into 2 will be 6 6 root x so friends finally we got an expression for this value that is 2x per 4 minus 8x cube minus 5x square plus 28x minus 28 is equals to 6 root x so friends one of the interesting question in algebra so remember that without knowing formula you can't able to crack any question in the algebra so try to learn all the important formulas in the topic algebra question number 20 so x is equal to 2 plus root 3 and y is equal to 2 minus root 3 so our target to find what is the value of expression that is x square plus y square divided by x cube plus y cube so friends listen carefully friends by keeping both the values our target to find what is the value of that expression right if you are brilliant you can directly substitute the value of x and value of y and you can square the numbers but listen carefully friends i think in set number one and set number two itself we have learned some important formulas that is x square plus y square can be written as x plus y the whole square so minus 2xy so next is here it is x cube plus y cube so x cube plus y cube can be written as x plus y the whole cube so minus of 3xy into x plus y so friends always remember that you should learn all the formulas right so without learning formulas you can't able to crack a question in algebra so friends now our target to find what is the value of x plus y and also what is the value of xy right so friends here it is x is equal to 2 plus root 3 so x plus y can be written as 2 plus root 3 and here it is plus 2 minus root 3 so we can cancel root 3 and root 3 so 2 plus 2 will be 4 so finally we can say that the value of x plus y will be 4 so next is our target to find what is the value of x into y so x into y is equals to 2 plus root 3 so into 2 minus root 3 so this can be done as a plus b into a minus b so a plus b into a minus b will be a square minus b square so a square will be 2 into 2 that is 
2 square will be 4 right so this can be done as 4 next is b square so root 3 the whole square root 3 the whole square will be 3 so a square minus b square the resultant answer will be 1 so finally we can say that the value of x y will be 1 so friends now target to substitute the values here we know that x plus y will be 4 so 4 square will be 16 so minus of so we know what is the value of x y x y will be 1 so 2 into 1 will be 2 so divided by so friends similarly here it is x plus y will be 4 so 4 cube will be 64 so here it is minus 3 into sorry friends here it is x y right so x y will be 1 and x plus y will be 4 so this can be written as minus 3 into 4 so friends sorry friends here it is minus 3 x y into x plus y so friends i think uh, 16 minus 2 the resultant will be 14 so divided by here it is 64 minus 12 so this can be written as 14 divided by 64 minus 12 will be 52 I think uh, we can cancel this only on 7, no, 2 table, right? So, when we cancel this on 2 table, the resultant will be 7, 2s of 14. So, again, when we cancel this on 2 table, it will be 26. So, finally, we can say that the value of the given expression that is x square plus y square divided by x cube plus y cube is equal to 7 divided by 26. Question number 21. If x is equal to 2 plus root 3, so find the value of x power 6 plus x power 4 plus x square plus 1 divided by x cube. So friends, I think we can't able to directly substitute the value of x here friends. Why? Because if I substitute the value of x here, so we need to find the power of for power 6, right? So this is not possible. I think only way is first of all we can simplify this expression friends. Listen friends, this expression can be written as x power 6 divided by x cube. And second will be x power 4 divided by x cube and the next will be x square divided by x cube and the third will be 1 divided by x cube. I think when we cancel this the resultant will be x cube and uh, when we cancel this this will be x power 1 will be x right. So similarly here it is 1 and here it is x cube. So this can be written as 1 divided by x and similarly here it is 1 divided by x cube so friends i think we need to find the value of this expression right so finally we have simplified the given expression as x cube plus x plus 1 by x plus 1 by x cube i think this can be written as x cube plus 1 by x cube so plus x plus 1 by x is equals to question mark so friends just now we have solved a formula right in the previous question we have solved a formula that is based on x cube plus y cube so x cube plus y cube will be x plus y the whole cube so minus of 3xy into x plus y so this can be written as x plus y the whole cube right so minus of 3xy into x plus y so finally this expression can be by using a formula this can be written as x plus y that is whole cube so minus of 3xy that is x and y will be 1 by x so into x plus y. i think we can directly cancel this right so this can be written as 3 into so this can be written as 3 into x plus 1 by x and here it is x and here it is 1 by x is equal to question mark so friends i think uh, that is more than enough to find what is the value of x and what is the value of 1 by x why because we already know the value of x will be 2 plus root 3 and the only target is we need to find what is the value of 1 by x so friends listen here friends the value of x will be 2 plus root 3 right so the value of 1 divided by x will be 1 divided by 2 plus root 3 so i think uh, let me add both the term friends so x plus 1 by x so this can be written as 2 plus root 3 so plus 1 divided by 2 plus root 3 so next is i think we can take conjugate of this expression once so 2 minus root 3 divided by 2 minus uh, root 3 so this can be done as 2 plus uh, root 3 so uh, here it is 2 the numerator will be plus 2 minus root 3 and the denominator will be a plus b and a minus b will be a square minus b square so a square will be 4 and minus b square will be 3 so 4 minus 3 the denominator will be 1 so we don't want to care about that number right so here it is plus 3 and here it is minus 3 so 2 plus 2 will be 4 so finally we got an answer that is 1 1 by x plus x the value will be 4 so friends here it is x plus 1 by x which can be written as 4 cube so minus of 3 into 4 and here it is x plus 1 by x will be 4 is equals to x so 4 cube will be 64 so 4 will be 4 into 3 will be 12 so plus 4 is equals to question mark so friends finally 
of 64 minus 12 will be 52 so 52 plus 4 will be 56 so finally we got an answer that is x is equal to 56 which is answer for question number 21 so friends remember that always try to buy out all the formulas right here it is here we have used the formula that is x cube plus y cube question number 22 if a plus 1 by a plus 2 is equal to 0 so our target to find what is the value of that expression that is a power 37 so minus 1 divided by a power 100 right so friends i think uh, a power 37 so only way is we need to find what is the value of a by using this expression so friends this can be written as when we take lcm as a right so when we take lcm as a this can be written as a into a will be a square so plus 1 plus 2 a divided by a is equal to 0 so finally this expression can be written as a square plus 2 a plus 1 is equal to 0 so friends this expression looks like a format called a quadratic equation right so x square plus 2x plus 1 so when we take the factors right so here it is 1 so when we take a factors the resultant will be 1 and 1 so this can be written as a plus 1 and a plus 1 is equal to 0 so finally we got an answer that is value of a will be minus 1 so friends now our target to substitute the value of a there right so here it is a power 37 so minus 1 divided by a power 100 is equal to question mark so friends listen carefully friends minus 1 power 37 so minus 1 divided by minus 1 power 100 is equals to question mark so friends minus 1 power 37 here it is an odd number right 37 is an odd number so this can be done as minus 1 so minus of so friends minus 1 power 100 it's an even number so the resultant answer will be plus 1 so here it is minus so minus 1 is equal to question mark so finally we got an answer x is equal to minus 2 which is answer for the last question and set number 5 that is 22nd question the answer will be x is equal to minus 2.